Sharala. Before we go into this lesson, we give all honor, all glory, and all praises to Yahweh, so called Halaliam, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Camp, but I know as great millstone for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I've been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect, I tabernacle of David, and I'm a brother Kazaki Asharala coming into this lesson dealing with the title is be thou faithful unto death now the reason why i have to pose this question is because are you truly prepared to die for this truth as yahweh and his disciples were because we have had many men i'm going to say that we have had many brothers or well, past brothers at this present point in time that would have said the exact same thing yes we are ready but Yahweh put the spirit on them to step away and even go against the truth and like our priest said because what the heavenly father darkened his steps their steps to do so um like our priest said in Proverbs 69 verses 9 it says a man devises his way a man's heart devises his way to Lakia, but Yahweh directed his steps because why they weren't right the spirit wasn't right with Jehovah Shemashai. They weren't chosen or called to receive this wise counsel and to go about to be a part of or among the elect. So they were sifted out. So that, was, that is why the question remains. Are you, sh are you all really and truly prepared to die for the truth? Because if you want to continue to indulge in these customs and philosophies of the sinful world, you are not fit. I say it again. You are not fit. Let's get a precept. You are not fit um, for this truth. I say it again. And you can't fake it to make it because your hour eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Let me get a precept before you continue, right? I think it's um, got a precept. I got John. I don't know why I do not. It's like, it's like, yeah. John chapter 12 and verse 23. 12. You see how for some phone reacting? So like yeah, for that people. So like, yeah. Um let's get to the main point. It says Because we have to understand part of our part of our um directing or following as we follow Yahweh yeah, Shai Hamashi act. It's going to be some horrendous things going to be taking place on us. So let me grab the precept before I continue. It says, Judge chapter 12 and verses um, 4, 24, 23, so like chapter 25. And I'll even read it in the NLT because the NLT give it more, make, make it more juicy. But like, let's, let's read it. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die it abide alone but if it die it bringeth forth much fruits and that is exactly correct this is why we are here today but let's continue it says he that loveth his life main point shall lose it and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal main point you see we have there are rewards for doing the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. people think you're just doing the will and if you are perished for, for holding this truth there's nothing behind the behind it we all think the heavenly father is some kind of unjust power what is wrong with y'all the reward is much vast much greater Let me get the NLT. I still gonna get it. so it says, Yahweh shall reply. Now the time ha um, has come for the Son of Man to enter into the into his into his glory. He said, I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But if but its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest. Of new lives and verse 25 do, um, those who love their their lives in this world will lose it 
and those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity which we just read main point so if you are not among um these men crying and sighing then this truth is not for you crying and sighing against the abominations of this of this of this horrendous world then this truth is not for you you are you are totally in the doing the wrong thing and i'm not saying that the heavenly father is not going to lift up some brothers to 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 you know receive some reward that may be to be able to assist the camp or, or help the men which is our brothers our sisters and our mothers that do the will you understand I'm not saying that but at the same point in time if you are in the shoot and you don't come and, and watch me you just see the reason to be crying and sighing by we're still in captivity we still can't do what we want we still can't live freely they are oppressing us daily through laws and legislations, judicial systems. They are, they are literally threatening and unaliving us. They are planning to make plan damage to keep us under wraps. Are you not seeing this? Or oh, I all just want to ignore the signs? I don't know. Let's continue the topic. Because here, watch me. When Jacob's trouble heightens and the MOTB becomes mandatory, those that aren't in the shoot, they are going to consider you as a trade item to profit off of your sorrows to be exact. And these are going to include your families. Let get a precept to that. Because watch me, your families, um, maybe even, even a brother that you look up to in, in the shoot. Let me get a precept. Um, look. 21 and verses 16 straight to the point they go up right let me read from verses um verse no verse 16 verse 16 it says and it says and ye shall be, be and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. What did scripture say? Five shy for this truth, even to death. And Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai will fight for thee. So this death really and truly is nothing but a sting. At the end of the day, we have our rewards. With, within that but let's continue it says and ye shall be hated of all men for my sakes for my name's sakes main point verse 18 it says but there but there shall not an hair of your head perish in your patience possess ye your souls so you see and the reason i had to put that and and, and shut it a little bit more because hey watch me The amount of things that's going to be, be taking place, it, it, it's going to be mind blown, and you have to be prepared. This is why I pose the question: Are you true? Are you truly prepared to die for this truth? Because what is about to befall us is something. And I want to put it out. Let me make sure this thing recording. I can do this while well, it's even ready. Right. What What is about to befall us is something that we have never experienced before in this life. So you must strengthen our mind and our spirit with what this word. Let's go to Romans chapter fifteen, because we because this word is what's, what's going to comfort us in the time of 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 these darkness, of these terrible times, of these perilous times of Jacob's trouble. Let's go into it. Let's go um Romans fifteen and verses four. And it says for whatsoever <clears throat> things were written aforetime, which we see prophecy coming to pass, which we have um did multiple videos on a uh, four time which was hap written back then <clears throat> were written for our world learning which is our present learning now and here's the main point that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures 
might have hope. So it's the scripture that is going to comfort us in the time of, of, of these things. The word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. The name of Yahweh, which is Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Our power. You understand? That is what's going to comfort us. And we know Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, according to um, the scriptures, according to the scriptures, um, said, we will, be, we will be comforted of Yahweh. Roughly paraphrasing. I think, let me get the precept. I believe it's 2 Corinthians. Um, shit. So lucky. Um, <laughs> a second Corinthians. Um, I believe it's one. Flip. Is it one or is it four? Is that, is that either one or four? Second Corinthians. Let me, yeah, it says, let me read it. It says um, one and verses four. Who comforted us in all our tri tribulations that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherein we ourselves are comforted of Yahweh. See? So, like I said, we are comforted of the Heavenly Father. So even though these things might take place, we may we may we may go through um obviously these things would happen, even though many of us are going to be what to put it, um go through harsh afflictions, guess what? It's best to endure it until the end. Like going to Matthew, Matthew chapter ten and verses twenty one to get the to get um twenty two in the main point, but twenty one to give our understanding, it says, straight to the point, Matthew 10, 21, and the brother shall deliver up the, let me read up, it says, for, for it is not, it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you, and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. Straight to the point. Verses 22. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men. That's the main point. For who what? For my name's sake. Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Rakakodash. But he that endured to the end shall be saved from this wicked horrendous abominable world the custom that they practice on a daily basis and we could see these judgments rolling all over the earth from death to uproars to, to signs of plagues being pushed out and implementation of lockdowns MOTB being, being desensitized so that, it, so that it could roll in to be mandatory eventually. This is not a game. This is not a joke. These things are coming, which is why we must endure till the end. So the question posed again. Are you willing? Are you ready to die for this truth? You understand? Though we, though we, uh, we know the temptations are going to, that's going to, be, that's going to come. Is going to hit like plus ultra for those who don't know. Um, I know the first season of my hero academia when all might went plus ultra and knocked the flicking um no more straight through straight to the sky. This is how heightened the temptations is going to become. But those that have the spirit to push that out because we are practicing to walk diligently and rehearse the righteous acts in this time that we will we, we will be in the same path even in those times. You understand? As I'm not saying that you must, we must pray cont uh, for cont um, continuous faith, for continuous faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in that time, because no one knows what the heavenly Father is going to do. No one knows who have their lots, who have their portion that is given to them, and at the present time they are to act it or rule it out as part of prophecy. Well, let's go into Romans chapter, sorry, Romans, Revelation chapter, um, um, 
think my, this my, my chat up gaming problems are. It is what it is. And now this okay, this thing looking good. Looking better at least. Again, main point. Straight to the point, it says what? Like it it says behold. No, not this one. Like go lot It says because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. This is why we must trust in your Bashem Yoshai. This is why we must what endure. That is being patient. We are enduring. We are patiently waiting for the return of your Hawashai. And until he returns, we are going to do what? Rehearse the righteous acts. Or as scripture says, those that do the will of Yahweh, the same as my brother, my sister, my mother. What is the will? What did the I say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. So we are still going to diligently seek him by what? Rehearsing the righteous acts, break, breaking his prophecies, and teaching, um, teaching others, um, the younger ones, that as they come up, that they may also be edified and may be bring into this house. Into that one body. Let's continue. It says, Because thou hast kept thy word, the, the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hours hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11 hold, uh, Behold, I come quickly, hold fast, which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. Understand? You don't want that to happen. You don't want temptation to be so severe that you give in to the nonsense. Take that, take that MOTB in your hand, and then you're saying, "Wait, I really do that, boy? Way, boy? What the frick? You know? You know when you do some shit like that, it, it now center in your brain. It's like, what the frick? What did I do? You know? Like that." You don't want to reach to that point. <laughs> so it might as well hone in. Now is the time to hone into the wisdom that has been, has been brought out. Cleave unto the wise men. Understand? Cleave unto the men that are wise. Roughly paraphrasing. Verse, verse 12. It says, he, um, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the, temp in the temple of the Most High. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, O Yahweh, uh, Bashem Yahushai, and I will write upon him my name, my new name. Right? So, as we see, there is rewards for being, for enduring, for being patient, for waiting. You don't want to miss that. You don't want to pass that. You understand? Ask the Heavenly Father for the Spirit to resist these temptations in these times. That your reward may be much greater, which we see in here, than you that it, 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 the reward at this point is way much greater than you to turn your back against this truth. You had to be a fool, but we know it's ultimately the heavenly fire putting that spirit on them. But you have to be a fool to come into this truth, know right from wrong, know this truth, but still have one foot in, one foot out. You have to be a fool. Have to. I'm not holding my tongue for that. You have to be a fool. What happened to the fool? Fools are going to be destroyed. Let's get a precept one time. I believe it's Proverbs 13. Let me get a precept. It says, He that have walked with a wise, with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Straight to the point. And yes, many of us will have to suffer the afflictions. Right? As our master did. Our master would. Right? But the reality is we have already denied ourselves. We have already denied ourselves. From this world. From this worldly things. We denied our our our. I would say our pleasures, our dreams, our goals, our, all these 
all these horrendous things that we would have taught were we not in this truth that how i want to do this and i want to be like this and i want to achieve this in this wicked society we have denied ourselves this society have to fall we, we need righteousness to be placed back on the earth we can't have righteousness where esau edom is in rulership so he must be destroyed that's our end game if anybody want to ask what where do you see yourself five years from now i see myself as a king in israel or ruling wherever yahweh should I give me to rule that's what i see myself as i might be i'm trying to be boastful but that is what i see myself as And I pray in the name of Yahweh Hashem it actually happens that way. <laughs> I don't want to be betraying nobody in this shit at all. Especially on coming a young brother in this thing. Nah. <clears throat> at all, at all. Let me continue. Right? Let me go appreciate to that. Deny yourself. Before you close up. Luke chapter 9. And verse 23. Let me go up. Um, let me make sure this thing recorded. This thing like took while. This thing like I said. Uh, straight to the point verse 23 to 24 and he said to um to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up the cross daily and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it See? You see? See? Simple as it is. And if I be in answer with you, I'm already fed up with this world, with this society. There's nothing that I have to live for in this shit. In this shithole. <laughs> I just say it like that. The only thing I have to live for in this shithole is this truth. Bring it out to bring it out. To, 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 to bring it out to our people because this world is, is already polluted. Scripture said the, the our wickedness had, has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Roughly paraphrasing. It's already wicked. <laughs> no no one in their right sense or being in the shoot would want to, 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 to grow and develop and become some form of some form of uh, uh, how put it? Higher self in this in this wicked world, you you look you asking for destruction at this point. You asking for your death. So, like the scripture says, what? And he said um, to them, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross daily and follow me. Again, for whosoever shall what? Whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. <clears throat> example the VC those who wanted to jab the self because they thought they could have saved the self from the place that was befalling them and they still perish with a worse death than rather having to have faith you know how coming from let's continue <laughs> I hope this video don't get to them for that eh? all right it says well for whosoever shall save his life shall lose it but whosoever will lose his life for my sake the same shall save it straight to the point right like that like and we know that a hey, we know that many of the brothers share the same sentiment that it's better to endure it with your brothers undone go through your trials go through the afflictions overcome together be strong be a one body be one body serve i should just say praise and serve yahweh with one consent which is one doctrine under the correct name believing in the same thing not having different beliefs but joining together like the other bugged out um camps you see having out here so i get a, a precept um i say the album last precept eh? but so lucky yeah. no i say this the one before the last precept so lucky yeah. um <laughs> apparently wherever the spirit leads we are going so it is where it is um, Matthew chapter, say Matthew, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 24. And we have, it says, 
which uh, very good example very good example it says by faith Moses when he was come to, to, to um, come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing her to suffer afflictions with the people of power than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season see that he would rather suffer with his people and we see many other um you see many other um prophets sharing similar sentiments that maybe people, that people who are back in the scriptures would rather die would they have this that spirit I would rather perish than to than to than to do anything against the Abashim Shai. And we see a good example in the book of Second Maccabees chapter I believe it's seven. So like yeah, if with the seven uh, sorry not seven with the um I think it's two and twenty one. Two and one to twenty two. Believing I believe it's with the um the seven sons and the mother where they all got um tortured and unalive. But look at that spirit not true during pain they hadn't fall they endure it till their end i like our preacher because we could know with this as scripture says romans chapter this um they could know it like with it romans um sorry revelation chapter 2 and verses 10 as scripture says fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer behold the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried ye shall be tri- uh, that ye shall have tribulation 10 days the scripture say until the end be thou faithful unto death and here's the greatest reward that you could ever experience from Yahabashim Yoshai and I will give thee a crown of life man do you know what a crown of life represents who wouldn't want this boy? Who would not want this is my question. You'll have to be fools if you're t- watch me. <laughs> I'll pause it before you understand. And this is the, again, we bring this precept again because this is very crucial. This is where we are we are at, at this point. We have to be willing to what? Strive for this truth, even to death. This is why the question was raised. Are y'all sure? Are y'all truly sure? Are y'all truly sure that y'all are? Are y'all truly prepared? Let me see like that. Are you truly prepared to die for this truth, boy? Normally, I would give an answer, but my answer is normally I would give an answer to be yes, I am, because of what certain dreams that I've received. That would make me believe that that is what's going. That is the case, but I would say like this: If it's the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that He put this spirit on me to not fall and to remain standing against our enemies, that I perish, no problem. So, try for this truth, which is the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Even unto death, and Yahweh shall fight for thee. So I hope this lesson would or would be edifying, informative, and encouraging. Encouraging, Salakia. Yeah. That you put off this mortal man. That you remove that mentality that you would have before and truly hone in to focus in on Yahweh Bashi Meoshai strengthening the brotherhood you understand because at this present point in time the way how things are looking it looks how blessed though is about to heighten and if it does those that spirit aren't ready whether you like it or not if you're spreading already, you're either going to betray or you're going to be sifted. 
if you are ready to water your Bashim or Shai, we must endure to the end of the end of the day because our our reward, our victory has already been um sure. So Shalom Yasharala, Kal Halalyam, Yahawa Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kakwadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Cam, better known as Great Millstone, for the bring forth the hundred percent truth that I've been currently edified under. Shalom to the elect and the tabernacle of David. And I'm a brother Kazak Yasharala Solakya. I am your brother Tazaraya. Or Tazaria, Tazaria, Kazakh, which was a name given to me by one of the elders of um, some Trinidad, uh, which means the Lord's strong and mighty defense. So it's now Tazaria, Kazakh. I'm a brother, Tazaria, Kazakh, coming to you. I would say, shut. I'll make some myself. It's so hard to get through a Kazakh because of this name, Tazaraya Kazakh. I'm your brother, Tazaraya Kazakh, saying to you, Shalom.